Okay, so parts laid out here for issue eight of the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Yeah, it's the front right hand uh, brake and suspension parts. So very similar to what we did for the, obviously the left hand side. Um, so yeah, just gonna be getting this bill all checked off. Got loads of screws as well that I've checked off as well. So all checked off on the inventory you get in the magazine. So yeah, this will just be the build for uh, issue eight. Okay, so first thing we're doing is bringing over the brake disc uh, and I'm going to be uh, just assembling that. It has got a little cutout. Now, I didn't notice this last time. I don't think it matters. I can't remember seeing that in the last one, but hey. Uh, uh, so just yeah, lining up the holes and then press fit in this. Like then the uh, wheel hub looks like that it's metal uh, and the convex side goes towards the hub it has got a little pin a little locating pin goes in and then it's fitted on with CM screws Okay, so that's what that looks like. Yeah. We're going to break caliper base plate and the spindle. They go through. I'm just trying to make sure it goes through the right way. It does. It's got kind of contours on there, so and it will only fit one way. And then CM screws from the other side. going to go through it has got a keyway which doesn't go on this time I'm just trying to make sure just gets pushed through doesn't it just gets pushed through and the brake caliper which is really nice I've been very impressed with this brake caliper it's actually got as you can see it's actually got some brake pads in there as well very very nice details on that and um, kind of goes on from that side held on with CM screws again So the spring mount held upper spring mount and shock absorber cylinder. And this guy's got some flats on it. So the flats obviously have to go in. There's a protruding. Difficult to see probably. And then an EM screw. Okay, that does move. That's quite a bit of movement in it anyway. It won't turn because of those flats. I think that's what we're after on that one. And we've got the upper control arm and it's just kind of yeah, making it go the same as the uh, picture, really. Got a thick arm and a thinner arm. Yeah. 
and some FM screws, one from each side. We've got the ball joint that kind of drops through the arm like that and then with a GM screw that's going to hold on to the top part I guess yeah I'm trying to match it up how it is in the picture it's just going to drop onto the link oh. And then a GM screw. Trying to make sure I got it the right way. It doesn't seem to be wanting to go through very much, very well. Okay, it will. I think there's a bit of powder coat problems on there, but I'm sure it'll be okay once I get everything else on there. But that's it for now. That is uh, that's issue eight done. Okay, so there's the magazine for issue eight uh, there of yeah, the Fast and Furious. That's George's say so just getting the uh, front right hand brake and suspension assembly done. Issue 9 is going to be probably carbon copy, yeah, front right suspension and the chassis. So it's all of it, it's getting it fitted onto the chassis. Okay, so that will be, uh, and that other part that we did in issue 7 as well, that's going to be fitted onto the chassis at this point. So quite a big issue, that'll be issue 9 and that'll be coming up soon. So hey, thank you very much for watching my presentation of Build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger Issue 8. Uh, and if you'd like to see the progression of this build from where it is now all the way up to completed car, then don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or pop any comments in the usual place. But hey, yeah, for now, uh, take care. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon and goodbye.